Rishi Sunak will today reaffirm the strength of the union through the UK's generosity to the Scottish Government in a bid to tone down the calls for separation from the SNP. Ahead of a visit to Scotland, the Chancellor hailed Scotland's innovation and ingenuity as part of the United Kingdom. During the visit to Glasgow and Edinburgh, the Chancellor will highlight the Plan for Jobs scheme, which he said has supported one in three jobs in Scotland and tens of thousands of Scottish businesses, but the SNP claim the Chancellor should apologise for plunging Scotland into economic uncertainty. Mr Sunak said today, we've come through this pandemic as one united kingdom, with our Plan for Jobs supporting one in three jobs and tens of thousands of businesses across Scotland. Thanks to the strength of our union we've deployed the fastest vaccination rollout in Europe and our economy is rebounding faster than expected. It's vital this continues, and Scotland's innovation and ingenuity will be key in creating jobs, powering our growth and driving a green recovery. It comes after SNP ministers demanded further financial flexibility in its funding arrangement with the UK government and an extension of the furlough scheme which finishes in September. From July 1, employers had to pick up 10% of their furloughed workers' salaries, with the government paying 70%, while in August and September, the government will pay 60% and employers will pay 20%. Alison Thewlis, the SNP's shadow chancellor at Westminster called for Mr Sunak to apologise for prematurely withdrawing furlough and risking thousands of unnecessary redundancies. Ms Thewlis also claimed Mr Sunak was short-changing, Scotland and going ahead with universal credit cuts of £20 that will plunge half a million people into poverty. The Glasgow Central MP also recalled the party's demand for a second referendum and added, as for his boasts about the supposed strength of the UK, the reality is that the UK is the poorest country per head amongst its neighbours in northwest Europe, with countries similar in size or smaller than Scotland being the fairest and most prosperous. It is increasingly clear that the only way to keep Scotland safe from Tory austerity is to become an independent country with the full powers needed to protect jobs and secure a strong, fair and progressive recovery.